Okay, I am here with, tell us who you are. I'm Ms. Viola Robinson Jenkins, age 42. I'm 72. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to rub that in. Uh, where were you born? New York City, July um, 25th, 1939. Okay, and um, tell me about your family. Who are your parents? Archie and uh, Madeline Robinson. My mother's a Charlestonian. My father's a New Yorker. And what about your grandparents? My grandparents are um, Nemus and Madeline Bright. They both deceased. They are from Charleston, South Carolina. Do you know your other sets of grandparents? Yes. Um, <laughs> let me think of it. Uh, Grandma, Grandma Johnson, which was my father's mother. She married a Wallace Johnson. She divorced my father's um, father, early age, and he was um, Robinson. Okay. Yes. Uh, tell me about your, your younger days growing up. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, um, I have four, three brothers and four sisters. I'm the oldest girl. Um, my oldest brother is Archie um, Robinson. He changed the name to Muslim name of Osman Kareem. Then I have my brother after him, who is Ricardo Robinson. He used to play in the band for Diana uh, Washington years ago. They made a recording. And then I have a baby brother, Jackie Robinson. He is... Oh, going on 60, I think it is. He lives in Alexander, Virginia. He lives in Alexander, Virginia, yes. I thought he moved to Atlanta. What did I say? Alexander, Virginia. <laughs> he used to live in Alexander, Virginia. He lives, okay. he lives in Atlanta now. Okay. And tell me about the sisters. Uh, my sister, six years uh, younger than I am, is Carolyn, Lorraine, Robinson Bolton, Bol Belton, she just okay. got married in September. Okay. Madeline Huggins Dixon, she just got married two weeks ago. Harriet Robinson Asaf, Annetta, my baby sister, Annetta Smith, uh, Rob Annetta Robinson, um, can't remember her last oh, name. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so Yes. What about high school? Where'd you go to high school? Um, started high school, junior high school, PS10 in the Bronx, New York. Then we moved uh, to South Carolina in 1952. And I went to W. Gresham Megan High, junior high school and high school. Graduated in 57. Went back to New York in 57. Okay. And how did you meet Mr. Jenkins? Uh, when we moved down here in 19, Charles, 1952. He was working on my mother's house. My cousin, they were building, <coughs> excuse me, um, house for my mother. And um, I met him. He was on top of the roof, um, hammering up something. I couldn't stand him. Didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> I could not stand him. And what made you change your mind? Um, uh, he was very popular, for one thing. Okay. <laughs> very popular, but um, he was a nice guy. Yeah. Had manners. Anything else? Uh, it says he seems to think your aunt. Um, oh, my aunt Dottie encouraged me to um, to um, be friends with him because he had Spanish and he was a nice guy and um, wasn't too many bad things said about him like the other guys on James Island because I wasn't dating anybody at the time. Okay, he was my first boyfriend. So this was so um, so this was you said James Island where you guys met. Right. Okay. Um, tell me about your wedding. Well, let me see. I was engaged to Caesar when I was in high school, 12th grade. Uh, he gave an engagement ring before he went overseas. Then, um, 1957, when I graduated, I went to New York. We decided to get married in 1960. We waited, I waited three years before I got married. He, um... Went overseas. He wanted me to come overseas to get married, but I didn't want to because I wanted to continue working in New York. I was working at B. Altman and Company department store to help my mother. So, because um, she had five siblings behind at the time when my father was separated and she needed the family's help with the siblings okay. that was older. So I decided to work and um, stay in New York and help her. Okay. So, but you still haven't told me about the wedding. Oh, we went to um, 
He sent for me in uh, March. I went to California. We got married. Um, we just went to the, the preacher and just got married. Okay. Now tell me about your kids. I have three daughters. I had three daughters. My oldest was Cecilia, Danielle Jenkins, then a year later was Cassandra Donzella Jenkins, then the year after that was Salisa Donzella Jenkins. Anything you want me to know about your girls? They mm. all were different. Okay. <laughs> all How? were different. Cecilia was the type of person, um, she always liked to please everybody. Um, she had sickle cell anemia, and um, at the age of um, 44, 45, um, the Lord called her home. She it's going to be 10 disease. years next year. Yes. The Lord um, called her home. She'd been fighting the disease for a long while. She um, was a year old when we found out she had sickle cell anemia. We n never knew what sickle cell anemia was. And... Um, they told us about it. Never heard so does it before. mean both of you guys have traits? Yeah, both of us have a trait. And Cassandra has a trait. Salisa is cleared. <clears throat> and uh, I must say, with her disease, uh, it taught us a lot. Um, her sisters was just very um, helpful uh, with her um, disease. They would rub her legs and her feet and help her when she was painful. And everybody was just so cooperative when it come, came to my family. Cassandra was the tomboy in my family. She um, she never, uh, as Lisa and Cecilia would put it, she never was a house person. She would go outside and cut the grass and work on the cars and do outdoor stuff. She mm -hmm. was never a person that would do indoor, indoor things like cooking and stuff like that. Lisa was a cook. She liked to cook. But then Lisa, um, when it came to cleaning, um, she was always very fussy. She still is very fussy. <laughs> I remember when we met Michael and had um, Michael for dinner. He was at the Citadel at the time. And um, my girls had taken turns when they were in the uh, 12th grade. I gave them responsibility of everybody taking their uh, turn, cooking breakfast and dinner because I was working. <clears throat> the next day, um, everybody took a week um, to prepare breakfast and to cook dinner. So anyway, um, this one time when Michael came over for dinner, it was Lisa's time to clean the kitchen and she didn't want to. So she said, Michael, we're going out to eat. I'm not cleaning no kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but um, she was always that type of person, very bossy and very fussy. Okay, where did she now. get that from? She still is now. Where did she get that from? Mrs. Jenkins? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, what would you want your great, great grandkids to know about you? That I was always the type of person to love children. Um, I used to take children into my home. I worked for the Air Force for 32 years, and I used to bring siblings, not siblings, I used to bring children home who parents or mother and father was not together or they needed help. I would bring them from work and, and come home, stay the weekend with me, and I would take them shopping. And when they got went back to home the next day, they had new clothes and new um toys and I just enjoy doing it because I just mm -hmm. like helping out military families especially when they were separated okay. and mostly um, interracial uh, marriages okay so you want them to know that you love to help I love to help and people. I love my grandchildren I was so glad that I had three no five grandsons because I had three daughters mm -hmm. always wanted grandsons and God gave me five, five or five six grandsons. Five, 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 okay. Five, I have one granddaughter. Cause, uh, okay, yeah, Cassandra has three. Right, and then and Salisa has two. Okay, and yes. then the granddaughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have your one grandbaby, girl, yes. and all boys. Yes. Um, so anything else that you want to be remembered for? I love people. Um, no matter what race or color, or, as long as you treat me fair, I, I treat you nice. I like meeting people, and I like um, I just love people. Period. That's why I work at the Coliseum because I meet people, different people all the time, and um, I get close to people. What has been your favorite job? Right oh. now, at the Coliseum. The Coliseum. Okay. Yes. And tell us what you do at the Coliseum. I am a usher, and I'm also a greeter, and I also I work behind the desk okay. at the guest services desk. Do you have a best friend? Do I have a best friend? <laughs> I have several best friends. Um, I couldn't go into naming them all because I don't want to hurt each other's feelings. Okay. But I have friends that I grew up Who's with. Who's your longest friend? 
Uh, my longest friend has um, three girlfriends in New York, which is um, Joan Tony Gibbs, Yvonne Smith Seely, and Joyce Hobbs. In fact, uh, when my sister gave my 60th um, birthday here in Charleston back 12 years ago, they surprised me and came for my 60th birthday, which I didn't know anything about. And um, it was nice seeing them again, which I, whenever I went back to New York, I always seen them, we always got together. But it was just a special at my 60th uh, birthday they came down to Charleston. Okay. And um, anything else before we end this? I love vacations. I love traveling.